Hey, what's up guys? This is Chase from IDUB Hockey. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick review on the Warrior Covert QRL3 hockey stick. So we have rounded corners, just slightly concave sidewalls, still getting a nice traditional feel in the hands. Now what I like is this raised texture that they included throughout most of the shaft. Just gives you a little more feel as you're out there dangling. As far as the construction goes, this uses what they call the true one-piece technology. It's actually something that we'll find in the top-of-line QRL as well. Now this eliminates any of the defects that happens during the construction process. And what that gives you as a player is a more consistent overall product, a more responsive stick, as well as a better balanced feel in the hands as well. So uh, great to see like they do in all their price points. But as far as materials go, it's the first time that we're gonna see the Minima 600 carbon fiber. This aerospace grade flat weave carbon is gonna be stronger, lighter, and more responsive. Uh, so really just improving all aspects of the stick. But a big thing um, that you're gonna notice as far as actual playability goes is that it actually helps the dagger taper function even better than before. Now this has a super low kick point because of how aggressively it tapers into the blade. But what's unique about the dagger tapers is that the top actually tapers more aggressively than the bottom. So this allows you to get that quick load into the stick so you can get that release off, whereas the bottom, that thicker portion, is gonna prevent the blade from torquing or twisting on big shots. So giving you that nice blend of accuracy as well as uh, some nice quick release. And then like I said, with that Minimus carbon fiber just kind of tying it all together, speeding up the loading process, giving you more power, just all working together. Into the blade, we see some big upgrades here as well. This is what they call their Hardcore X foam package with Twin Spar technology. Now the Hardcore X is very lightweight, very lively, uh, something I've always been a fan of, especially on these low kick sticks because you want to get that puck off in a hurry. Uh, you don't want it sticking to the blade for too long. But I also like it because it gives you some really nice feel. Uh, it's very responsive, just kind of giving you some feedback so you know where the puck is sitting at at all times. The Twin Spar is going to be two reinforcing bridges that run heel to toe. Uh, just like the taper, it helps to prevent the blade from opening up on big shots, making sure you're going bar down every time, uh, but it's also going to give you that durability, kind of protecting that foam package as well. So as far as the fill go, I uh, definitely got to say it's a big upgrade from what we saw in the QRL 4 or the 5. Uh, at this price, it's pretty stellar because it comes in at right around 449 grams in the senior version. Uh, and to be honest, I would have to say this is probably my favorite value pick in the entire line because about half the price is most, most top line sticks, only weighs 449 grand, so it's only maybe 20 grams heavier than a lot of those top line sticks. Uh, you're getting that premier technology in the true one piece, getting the dagger taper, the minimus carbon fiber. So uh, just too many good things in this one. I gotta say you're getting a lot of value for the price. As far as looks go, uh, like I've said in the other videos, I like the update because it gives you a nice kind of dark backbone to it, but you're still getting some really great pop of blue as well as some orange in there. So just kind of tying it all together, giving that nice new school uh, solid look to it. So for even more information, you can hit the link in the description. It's gonna jump you over to our product page. And then if you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below. Lastly, make sure you're subscribed to the number one hockey gear review channel on YouTube. See you guys next time.